And of course, uh, the reason is to see, uh, 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 being here today, of course, is to see how Africa uh, and other developing nations across the globe can uh, solve uh, the debt crisis. Uh, Chaniela, coming uh, to you again, uh, uh, we are looking at a long-term uh, uh, solutions for uh, the debt uh, uh, resolution. So in your perspective, what uh, maybe uh, are the available uh, innovative solutions that governments or nations can explore uh, to resolve the debt crisis in the developing countries? Thank you very much. And my apologies if there's some noise from my from my background. But then the solutions, you know, uh, relates to some of the things we've already discussed. Like we said, debt is neither good nor bad. It's about how you spend it, what you spend it on, and to what extent um, it will become useful in the in the future. So one of the solutions that I see, like I said, is for African for the knowledge around you know debt expenditure, the knowledge around spending to become firmer for African governments. This looks different for different African economies in general. So what should Nigeria as a country be spending on um today that will mean that we're in a better revenue position tomorrow? What should Burkina Faso be spending on today that will mean that they're in a better revenue position tomorrow? South Africa, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Ghana you know, Togo. So, you know, we need to do that work of figuring out the best things to be spending on. Infrastructure is good, but not all infrastructure is equal. You know, you can spend uh, millions of dollars on infrastructure, but then it lies fallow and it doesn't even contribute anything to your economy. So we need to be doing that better. Then, of course, we've said that we need to negotiate better terms when it comes to these loans that we take on board. So, and this calls for continental diplomacy. So it's not one country trying to do that on their own, but, um, you know, the African Union really leading that, leading that charge. I know they've been making some efforts towards doing that because when we speak with one voice as the African Union, now we are part of the G20. So this should be part of the agenda for the G20, you know, negotiating better terms um, for the loans that we take um, from either multilateral lenders or from bilateral lenders. So that's the second solution. Mm -hmm. And I'd say the third solution is just really to figure out how to improve our revenue profile, even as countries, right? Like we said, debt is neither bad nor good and all countries or most countries run on, on, on debt. But it's very important to know how to grow your own revenue as a country also um, as, an African, as an African country um, within the continent. So what are the things that we can do now to grow our revenues? I think some of us need to be collecting more taxes but it's not even just about collecting more taxes from our people. It's about increasing economic activity. Because if people are making more money, then automatically the government will be making more money. So not just trying to take the small money that they have, but then doing things, making investments that means that there is more wealth for everyone. And then by extension for the government as well. So I'd say these are three pillars of solutions um, for the future when it comes to debt sustainability um, and global cooperation for African countries. So highlighting uh, the internal uh, uh, method so possible solutions of that can be adopted internally to see how developing nations can solve uh, the debt crisis. Uh, staying with you still, uh, Tenela, let's look at now the, the role of global cooperation because when we are talking about the debt crisis faced by developing countries, uh, especially in Africa, uh, it also has to do with uh, the, uh, the global world. And now what uh, are the, uh, maybe what they ca can they uh, uh, explore effectively uh, in uh, trying to solve this globally, uh, maybe uh, the effectiveness of uh, debt uh, restructuring and relief programs, or even uh, debt forgiveness and uh, alternative financial uh, mechanisms. Do you think uh, at, at the global level, uh, this can go a long way uh, to, to bring in practical solutions uh, to the debt burden faced by nations in Africa. The agenda that Africa or African countries need to be push, pushing at the global level. So I mentioned that already um, the AU, the African Union, has been added to the G20. So debt diplomacy could be top of the agenda also for the interactions that they have with other G20 members. Then of course, we've been talking about increasing South-South cooperation. So you have um, some African countries that have been invited to join the BRICS and the implications of that. Because when you talk about alternative financing um, sources, uh, the idea is that instead of everyone going to Western on um, bilateral lenders, you can also explore Southern bilateral lenders or global Southern, in quotes, bilateral lenders that may give you better terms. And then even, 
you know, what format is this lending taking? So there's been a lot of talk about China and what China does. China does like a project based, usually project based approach to giving to giving loans. But even that is not good enough because some of these projects like has been mentioned already are not very viable or they're not very economically even attractive in terms of trying to improve um, revenue. So you're very right that yes, um, when it comes to global cooperation, there's lots to be done. Uh, a lot has been has been happening, I will say. I know that this has been on the agenda even for the UN, for the Bretton Woods institutions. There's been lots of discussions about it, but I think that um, the African voice hasn't really come together as one um, so far. During the pandemic, you know, there was a, I think there was a special envoy on debt. You know, I think even um, Dr. Ngozi Okonjewela was, was, was part of that um, at the time. And when they were trying to negotiate debt forgiveness for African countries, I don't think they got a lot of debt forgiveness, but then um, there was some like uh, moratoriums or, or pausing in the, in the debt servicing. So that pragmatic approach where instead of just um, wishing that um, some countries that are currently in distress will find their way out of it, um, we need to be very clear-eyed in assessing that, okay, this is not sustainable. What do you need to do next? Um, it's, it's a position that we find ourselves in in Nigeria at the moment, you know, just admitting that, that um, the current situation is not sustainable, so we need to do something about it instead of waiting till the last moment when we can no longer service our loans.